All right, Kevin, thank you. We continue to follow breaking news for you here. Uh, doctors now checking on Brittany Griner. That's right. She arrived back in the U.S. about two hours ago. We were looking live here from San Antonio. Team coverage this morning. Video shows her swiftly walking down the steps off that plane that landed at Kelly Field in San Antonio. Yeah, so in a photograph, she does appear to be smiling as she walks across the tarmac. You've got to look closely here. It's very dark. Uh, she spent 10 months detained in Russia, as you may remember. Multiple reporters on this story, and we start with our very own Brianna Connor, who is in San Antonio for her arrival. Yeah, after nearly nine months of Russian detainment and about 24 hours of travel, Brittany Greiner is home free. A member of the State Department tweeted confirming what we saw this morning around 445 here at Kelly Field. I want to take you to that moment when a person we believe is Brittany Greiner stepped foot onto American soil in San Antonio. She quickly got off that plane under her own strength. She used the guardrails a bit, but it was still really encouraging to see that. The flight ABC News tracked came here straight from overseas, so we don't believe Griner's family was on board, and we also didn't see anyone greeting her out on the tarmac, but by now, we would imagine that they've been reunited at Brook Army Medical Center. That's about a 20-minute drive away from Kelly Field, and that's where she's being medically evaluated. We've also been told that counseling services are available there for her and her family. Video from Russian state media shows Griner's long locks have been cut, but she appears healthy and unharmed. Her mental health also a concern here, but she told Russian reporters that she was happy and ready to fly home yesterday morning when they got on that plane leaving a penal colony. Just 24 hours ago, there was no public certainty surrounding if or when Brittany Griner would be released, but Houstonians held out hope. But I hope she knows that no one gave up on her. Uh, in the same vein, no one has given up on Paul Whelan. Uh, and then um, I, I know she'll have an incredible story to tell at some point, uh, but in her own time and in her, in her own way. So now there's no telling how long Griner may be admitted at BAMC, but to note Trevor Reed, another Russian prisoner released recently, was at that hospital for about two weeks. His health had visibly deteriorated, but as you saw this morning, Brittany Griner looks pretty good. So again, that is encouraging. Her family and her agent have both asked for privacy right now, so we don't expect to see or hear from them publicly for some time. But again, you have to imagine they are now reunited with Brittany. Brittany Griner and enjoying having her back home in time for the holidays. Reporting this morning live in San Antonio, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Brianna, thanks so much for that live report. And, you know, with that, we are receiving some new reaction about the prisoner swap that resulted in Brittany Griner's return home. And our team coverage continues now. Charlie Edsity live uh, here in Houston with that part of the story. Take it away, Charlie. Good morning, Rita. Well, Brittany Griner's release really has been met with a lot of mixed emotions. So this morning here in downtown Houston at City Hall, you can see there it's all lit up in red, white and blue at the request of Mayor Sylvester Turner, who tweeted out his support for Griner's release yesterday. Uh, but others are asking, what about Paul Whelan? So Whelan is a former Marine and also wrongly detained in Russia since 2018, accused of espionage, which the U.S. disputes. And in 2020, he was convicted by by a Russian court and sentenced to 16 years of prison. And so he spoke out overnight reacting to Griner's release, saying that he was disappointed that he was left out of the swap for Griner and also saying that he is desperate to get back home to the United States. So the Biden administration says that they did attempt to include Whelan in negotiations, but say the Russian government stated his situation is very different from Griner and they refused to release him. The White House saying overnight it wasn't an easy decision and the options basically were bring Griner home or bring nobody home. So Whelan's sister is now calling for unity across the country and also pointed out that Russian authorities are likely trying to divide Americans and also create more tension in our country. Should be no American standing against getting home a wrongfully detained American who is being held overseas because hostile foreign countries are trying to start problems over here. They're trying to create dissension and difficulties. Um, it, it may be one of the reasons why uh, Brittany was held wrongfully uh, in the first place. So I would urge everyone to, uh, you know, to keep their partisan sniping out of it. 
and also being criticized as well, uh, the Russian man, Victor Boot, who was swapped for Griner. Critics are saying that this was not a fair or an equal trade. So Boot was sentenced to 25 years in an Illinois prison back in 2012 on charges of trafficking weapons to terrorists and also conspiring to kill Americans. So some pretty severe accusations there. And so, of course, the concern now is what Boot might get up to now that he has left U.S. custody and is back home in Russia. We're live from downtown Houston this morning. Charlie at City ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Charlie, thanks. Griner spent 294 days in Russia. Let's walk through a timeline now of how all of this unfolded. Starting back in February, February 17th, WNBA star detained at a Russian airport. The news didn't break, though, until more than two weeks later on March 5th. On May 3rd, the U.S. considered her wrongfully detained. As you know, she was accused of having vape cartridges and admitted to that, containing hashish oil, which is illegal in Russia. Then, July 7th, Gr Griner pleaded guilty after a detention trial was delayed multiple times. She re reached out to Biden that same month for help. Then on August 4th, she was sentenced to nine years in prison after being found guilty. She filed an appeal that was then rejected in October. She was then moved to the Russian prison camp in November. And then finally, of course, yesterday, December 8th, Greiner freed from Russia in that prisoner exchange.